Hello, this is Frida Liu and you're watching The Shift where we cover everything around sustainability. Schneider Electric recently conducted a survey to gather perspectives of business leaders on the challenges and responsibilities around implementing sustainable actions. The survey examines Malaysia's green action gap and identified metric used by Schneider Electric to estimate the rift between the perceived importance of sustainable goals and the tangible actions to implement sustainable development by companies. Uh, the Schneider Electric Sustainability Survey revealed that while 95% of companies in Malaysia have established sustainability goals or targets, around half of them have implemented comprehensive sustainability strategies. So let's find out more from Eugene Kwa, uh, the country president for Malaysia. Hi, Eugene. Hi, good, morning, good to have you here. Thanks for um, having me. Thanks for, for taking the time. Now, um, Schneider Electric did their survey. Uh, what was uh, Schneider Electric's uh, goal with doing the survey? No, thank you. Um, I think uh, let's start with sustainability as a topic. I think it started to get a lot of traction nowadays, right? Uh, we, as Schneider Electric, we provide solutions and help our customer to achieve sustainable goal. Now, as we uh, go along, we start to see a lot of challenges, and that's why we want to do this survey. With the intention of, number one, we want to identify what is the perceived uh, importance of sustainability versus the tangible actions that they're right. taking. That's one. And then, of course, moving forward, we also want to understand what are the challenges that we have. So first, the, to identify the green action mm. gap, mm. and also to identify the challenge so that we could see where we could tackle from there on. Right. It's so interesting, right? We were just saying that uh, a lot of people know it's important, 95%, but knowing and doing is two different things, right? right. right. Now, in your opinion, though, uh, and of course, based on the survey, what is the level of readiness among local organizations in driving their sustainability efforts? So, so that, that's exactly the report is, uh, the, the, the survey was all about. Uh, the survey shows that 46% has this green action gap. Okay. While most of the companies think that it's important, we have a 46% gap that don't have uh, tangible actions. Mm. So that's where the gap is. So it's important to understand this. Now, what's more important next is what I mentioned. It's where to understand where the gap is. So I think uh, if you look at the survey that we conducted, 95% said it's important. Mm. So that's where we sense. Okay. 46 is the gap. Right. Uh, so, I, uh, so depending how do you see it, I think it's a progress of where we move from. So we have moved from, uh, and then so we have a 46% right. gap. Right, so at least they yeah. know it's important. Now Correct. we know we've got 40, we've got 46% of work that to needs do. to be done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay, exactly. now how can they address the barriers they have cited uh, in the survey, like poor incentives or ROI? No, oh. I think the first thing we have to understand, uh, to, to, to debunk the myth is ROI. Mm. I think there is, uh, facts and proven results of ROI uh, and whether it's uh, uh, what are the timeline that each and every individual or companies is looking at. That's one. Now, secondly, is probably more of the investment. Now, when we talk about investment, uh, instead of doing a full scale, companies, organization can opt for going phase by phases. You do the whole thing right. at, uh, at once. So right. you can do phases by phases. Now, the last option also we are thinking about, the third one is, in fact, there is also a financial institution. Mm. I take example, UOB, U Energy Program, that has been providing uh, financial uh, 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 programs is, to, yeah. Help, yeah, to help companies. Mm. Uh, for companies that want to do investment that are still finding it challenging to do so. Right. Yeah. And I know a few banks are actually doing it. Uh, and also, there are also incentives from Budget 2024 as well. Uh, right. So what are the key enablers for companies to narrow the green action gap? The key enablers here, the first one is, I think, um, we have to understand uh, where we are. So first, mm -hmm. start off the baselining. Uh, that's why we want to do this uh, uh, survey. And then we have to strategize. In Shin Electric, we believe three steps approach is the right approach okay. to tackle this. So we start with strategize, where we start looking at uh, the long-term roadmap of it, mm. and then digitize, mm. where digitalization will be the base of everything. Right. And then last one is decarbonize. So these are the three-step approach that we could help to 
to, to accelerate in this green movement. And, and to help these companies as well. Correct. Um, and can you share some of the readily available opportunities that customers, uh, companies can leverage to meet their sustainability goals? The very quick one, I would say, it's um, the, the first, I think I would say, is digitalization. Okay. Um, in our everyday life now, actually, we, we, I think digitalization has the big part of our life, daily right. life, right? And that's, that, that's the major thing here. Uh, when we start to digitize all of our usage, our operations in companies, in uh, buildings as well, we are able to see our usage. So digitalization mm. is important. Right. Uh, I always say you cannot control what you don't measure. Yes. So once you measure, you can control. Right. right? Uh, I think the second low-hanging fruit here we have is energy efficiency. Mm. Uh, what we have today, uh, or at least what uh, the carbon emission that we have today are already, I take for example buildings, right. are uh, buildings that are already existing in our country, right? Mm. So energy, if you to make the most out of the energy that we have here, is probably the shortest route that we could take. Mm. Uh, I think we have went to many panels, many uh, places that I think everyone will experience whenever you sit on a place for panel discussion. Right. What is the first thing you always feel? The aircon is blasting. Yes. Do we really need such uh, 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 high power of aircon? Also, this consumption is, right. is really, really important. Yeah. Mm. So I think that's the lowest hanging fruit that we could target over okay. here. Yeah. And, and, and you're right, right? Uh, what, what gets measured gets improved, yeah. Yeah. right? So uh, now the survey revealed that 96% of business leaders believe that pivoting toward a more sustainable business strategy will lead to business opportunity and growth. You mentioned that. Um, and the gap of 46%. So only 44% of leaders choose to invest in sustainable business practices, specifically as a means of pursuing growth. Uh, what else can be done to propel the green energy movement here in Malaysia? What else can be done? Um, I think uh, the first is the, the, the leadership, uh, because if you look at 96% of the top management here or leadership thinks that is important. Now, uh, what needs to be done is, of course, the leadership takes an important role. If mm. they think that it's important, uh, this thing will move. Mm. Uh, if you don't think that it's important, uh, yeah. it, so prioritization is the key. Okay. I think that's, that's, that's the key message here we are talking right. about. Uh, what are the key enablers? I think uh, we have uh, quite a few uh, uh, solutions uh, and technology that you could leverage. Mm. I think what the good news here is, Technology is already available in the market mm. that we could do it, uh, be it in energy efficiency, be it in uh, renewable energy, mm. be it in right. uh, e-mobility. Right. Technology has already exist. Right. So it's about uh, creating awareness, making everyone understand the importance of it. Uh, and then probably the more important part now, the last one is collaboration. I mm. think all organizations, stakeholders, key players have to understand that uh, sustainability is not a journey that you can do it alone. Mm. Uh, mm. Everyone has to take a big, uh, have to play your own part in this. Right. Very important. You were saying collaboration, the solutions are all here, right? And when you make it as a priority, then you know that the solutions are here. But then obviously it doesn't, it's, it's not something that can be done alone. You've got to work with the right parties as well, right? right. Um, now in the survey, 74% of these goals are short term, spanning the next four years uh, or less. So what are the potential pitfalls and what are, the, what are some mid-term and long-term considerations? The, the message here I think we should understand is first the Sustainability journey, like I mentioned, mm. it's a long journey. It's mm. a marathon rather than it's a sprint. Mm. So it's a continuous effort. Right. Even what I shared, strategize, mm. uh, digitize, decarbonize, mm. and then we go back to strategize again. So ah. it's a cycle. So we okay. keep going back. Okay. I think it doesn't that's end what, there. Correct. It doesn't end there. Yeah. And then we think a bit about, uh, so we have to balance as well, short term versus long term. Mm. Because uh, we have, I understand how business work, uh, you have to, understand your feasibility, mm. your capability in implementing those. So I think that's uh, the key that we have to balance it out. So creating a key roadmap mm. is important. Mm. Uh, continuity is important. Right. Yeah. Okay, so strategy, 
Uh, strategize. Strategize. Digitize. Decarbonize. Decarbonize. Correct. Rinse and repeat. Correct. Rinse and repeat. And I think like when you say short term, uh, you were mentioning earlier on, um, people obviously, the, the, the immediate one is reducing carbon, um, what do you call it, the energy Correct. in their place, right? And, and that's important. But then there are other areas to look at, right? right. Um, okay, Be beyond business growth, right? Why is it important for businesses to invest in sustainability efforts? The first, I would say, it's um, I always share it in across different platforms. Okay. Uh, the first thing that everyone has to keep in mind is is the right thing to do. Okay. That's the right thing to do. Uh, climate change has taken a very big impact on us, mm. and I think uh, over the news, everyone could have already seen it. Uh, we have more floods than we are probably. feeling it. Yes, we are yeah. feeling it. Heat wave, and not only just Malaysia, right across right. the globe, right? Uh, I think. That's something that is key to understand. Mm. Now, secondly, we look a bit about beyond uh, business growth. I would put it the other way around. It's about business survival. Okay. Uh, you want to remain competitive in the market. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of business end users mm. uh, that are requesting that uh, they are suppliers to embark on this journey. Right. If you are not going to embark on this journey, you're probably not going to be as competitive in the future, mm. right? And the last one I would like to touch on, it's more human touch mm. and it's for the future as well because when the first one, we talk about future generations. Right. The last one, I talk about the next generation as well because in order to attract talents, yeah. you will be, uh, it, it will be interesting to find out that a lot of new generation workforce works for a purpose. Yes. Right? Yeah. They have to understand they are working for a purpose. They would, you will be able to attract more talents mm. if you are going on a sustainability journey. Right. And you said competitive. Actually, it's not just even competitive. It's about being surviving. Correct. Right? Surviving Correct. in business. You may think it's competitive now, but next time it's just, I mean, even now, it's about if you want to survive in the business, you better move in that direction, right? Correct. So Correct. what's your advice to companies that plan to embark on their sustainability journey apart from your, your three-pronged strategy? What else have you got? Um, what advice companies embark on sustainability journey? I think the first one I said, I, mean, I think I repeat, the first one was is leadership. Yeah. Uh, leadership is the most important. Uh, you have to create awareness because if that's on top of your mind, yeah, uh, it will get things done mm. because that's your priority. I think if I want to go a bit deeper, uh, if you look at the past few years, uh, we have a lot of shortages in supply and so on. During the time, of course, the priority was to ramp up production. Mm. So it wasn't priority. Right. Right. So now, priority is very, very important. Mm. Um, the second one uh, is collaboration. Mm. All industry key players, I think we let's work with government. I think government has launched uh, a, lot. a lot of uh, uh, interesting programs yeah. that support sustainability journey. Uh, key industry stakeholders, mm. Technologies players like Chanel Electric right. uh, and major industry key players. I think that's that's the second one that uh, I would say uh, is important to, 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 to take on. Okay, and of course, strategize, digitize, digitize decarbonize. decarbonize. All right, thanks thanks for being here uh, today. I've been speaking to Eugene Kwa from Schneider Electric and you've been watching The Shift.